So I have to have my fan going back there because it is literally so hot today in the UK but where my camera is, it's right in front of my window so if I open them you'll hear literally every single person that is being a noisy ass today because today is the day people have decided hey let's go out and make loads of noise just as I decide to record so hopefully the fan in the background isn't too distracting anyway let's get into the video hey guys donut your hands here welcome back to my channel today as you can see we're going to be doing a little makeup video and because it is june it is pride month the little pansexual babe inside me is like we gotta do a video so that's what we're doing we are going to try and do a pride inspired eyeshadow look which is why my eyes look so naked because they have nothing on them yet not even i don't even think concealer so they're very naked right now they'll look at so on the subject of naked um i did realize that you can't really see my top sometimes i promise you i am wearing a vest uh, this channel may be for not kids, but it's not that kind of channel. So anyway, editing me out, please enjoy. Um, they're a bit shy. So as I said, June is Pride Month, so today I was going to do the like pansexual pride colours uh, because I myself identify as pansexual, but because there are only three colours, I was like, Yes, but I wanted to up the ante a bit. So I don't know if you've seen Nikki Tutorials. She recently did a video using all of her eyeshadow palettes. I'll try and leave a little screenshot here. So I thought, why don't I give that a go and try and use all my eyeshadow palettes? Because I've got a lot and I don't wear eyeshadow a lot. So I'm confused as to why I have this many, but there's a lot here. So because all of the eyeshadow palettes I have don't have like every single colour of the rainbow in them. They're all centred around a theme like purples, pinks, blues, etc. I thought why not combine my pride look with using all of my eyeshadow palettes because let's face it, if I want to do a rainbow for Pride Month, I'm gonna need to use all of them. So that was my reasoning for this video. I don't know, I'm just here to have fun and play with makeup. I'm excited, it's been a long time. So let's zoom you guys in to my eyes and we'll begin. Okay, so we're getting up close and personal again. I feel like this is, I've spent too much time on TikTok, so I feel like this is the face of that. And when I do this, it's gonna be all like, whoa, I look totally different. But sadly, no, that's not gonna happen. But anyway, let's just dive in. Uh, my wig is not wanting to play fair today because it is so hot, it just wants to keep sliding. I didn't bother to glue it down because no the glue would have melted. So first off, I'm gonna to start by priming my eyes. So first I am going to take the NYX, uh, what is it? It's just Proof It Waterproof Eye Shadow Primer. It is the colorless one. Uh, I've been using this a little while. Don't know if it actually is any good, if that makes sense. I just, I use it and hope for the best. Camera, why? Can you focus back on me, please? There we go. <laughs> Didn't like that, so I'm just going to take it and why should I start with for you guys first? I'm going to start with this eye first, but I'm going to do exactly the same to this eye as I go. And I'm just going to literally like swipe it on and dab it with my finger. eyelids are primed the first color we need for eye for our eye shadow is red so for the red I am taking this style London uh, velvet touch palette that I got with glossy box I think it was for their like devil edit yeah this eyeshadow palette is just called devil and it is all like reds and kind of oranges which is going to be perfect so I'm just gonna take this kind of large fluffy brush this is the Luxie tapered blending brush 205 and I'm literally going to take this bright red shade here it looks kind of orangey on camera but I swear it is more red than orange and I'm just going to take that and start blending out at this corner 
I need to watch like how big I make these colours as well because we need to fit how many colours of rainbow there? Seven? We need to fit like seven colours on. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm just gonna take the same over this side. I'm gonna try and do both eyes at the same time. Um just, just because why not? Why not? I actually hold up, I am kind of into the, just this. What would you say if I just said was like, that's it, that's the video. Bye. I'm also getting like rain on me vibes with this. I don't know why. I just feel like, you know, I could just start start vibing with Gaga and Ariana. That song by the way, such a bop. I also thought this video would be a good idea just to like sit down and chat with you guys because it's been a while. I recorded like my gameplay video, which um, gameplay videos will still be coming, don't you worry. Um, I just wanted to like break it up. I didn't want it to be like game, game, you know. I want to try and do like game, makeup, game, makeup, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna kind of like wipe any excess that might be on this off. Um, now that we've been in a couple of times and we've got quite a nice colour and just kind of blend it around a little bit. Um, I am taking this up quite high, like all up into this region, like all of my colours will be up this high. Just because I think that's going to get the best effect. So I'm just going to like blend that out and around a bit just to smoke it out around the corners, especially like this outer edge here. So the next colour we will need will be orange. So ooh, things are happening on my phone and it scared me. So we're gonna go and dive for an orange now. So I've got my, my bag full of eyeshadows here again. Um, I think the Soap palette has quite a nice orange in it. Uh, ooh, yeah, that would work well. We have a contender for orange. So I'm going to take the Revolution Soap Palette, the first one, and I'm going to take Full Shade Cloudberry, which is this nice, like, orangey one over here. I think I'm gonna take the same brush because no other color's coming out and I'm lazy like that. So, or do I have a better one? Do I have a better one? My brush is really need a wash. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Eye Brush in three. It's just kind of like a smaller, more compact blending brush. Still going to take shade, cloudberry, and like mix it in with this like red here somewhere. I'm going to do things. Things are going to happen. It's going to look shit to begin with, but hopefully it's all going to come together. That just happens when I do eyeshadow. I don't do eyeshadow often, so when I do, I just kind of chuck stuff on and hope for the best. So let's kind of like pack this on. Oh, there we go. Ooh. It is a little more of like a terracotta y briny shade than what I was hoping for, but it's gonna work. It'll work for now. We'll deal with it because I also kind of wanted this Pride video to be like, not everybody is gonna have an eyeshadow palette that has all the colours of the rainbow in. Um, so I wanted to try and do it with like eyeshadow palettes that you might have at home. Because, um, you know, I'm just off order, that's why I have 50 eyeshadow palettes. So I understand that not everyone's going to have this many. But you know, like, even just in like Soph's palette, there are like a couple colours, like you've got your red, you've got your orange, you've got like a green. So you've got things that are going to work. So even if they're not bright and vibrant. Vibrant? Vibrant. You can make it work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush that I had my red on earlier and just kind of like blend them together at the top. Marry them together because red and orange you wanna marry and have a baby, but be careful not to blend them too much otherwise you're gonna start mixing colors and then you're gonna start getting colors that you don't want in it. So. We've got our red and we've got our orange, so let's move on to yellow. So for yellow, I am taking the I Heart Revolution Lemon Drizzle Palette. I wonder why I chose this palette for yellow. 
So it has a nice range of yellows in there. So I think I'm going to take a lemon slice, which is this one here, because the other two are shimmers. And I'm like, do I want to stay away from shimmers or do I want to start shimmering up? Let's stay away from shimmers for now and maybe we'll add something at the end. So yeah, I'm going to take a lemon slice because the other matte in here is butter. And that's kind of like a more muted yellow tone. And as I said, I want to try and get this bright and vibrant. So I've just dusted off the BH3 eye brush and I'm going to go in to lemon drizzle and just pack that on. What do I want? So yellow, hang on. Let me also work something out. So yellow, green, blue purple and we might fit we might we'll see so again just pack in pack in that in there there was no assemblance of like let's make this look beautiful I was like let's just throw them on and see what happens so we're gonna add the yellow next to that orange I'm saying the red at the side here is kind of, to me, it's looking kind of purpley, which is weird. I don't know why it's shifted to that, so I don't know. Things are happening with colours and my skin. Trying to get that up into my crease. Get into my crease, please. Thank you. I haven't missed the crease over this side. It's just over this side. Like, I've just got a line and I don't know why. But anyway, ooh, kind of living for this at the moment. Again, going to take this brush and just blend that slightly at the top because there's like a weird little thing happening up here. So we're just going to blend that out a little bit. There we go, so the next shade I want is green, which is going to be a bit difficult I think, but I'm going to have a hunt and see. Green has actually proven a difficult shade to find, I actually have no eyeshadows in green. The closest I have is uh, this, again I have Revolution, this is the Macaroon palette, so this is more blues. So It doesn't even have like a matte blue in it, which is weird. I know we're looking for green, but I'm just confused as to why there's no matte blue. But. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to dip into a shimmer for this. So I'm going to go for Sweet Treat, which is this one here. It's like a, a bluey green, but I tried icing and this was just like too muted. Whereas Sweet Treat is like icing, but a bit, bit more in your face. So I'm gonna try a Sweet Treat and see what happens. Again, I'm just taking the same brush because I'm lazy, why not? Why do we need 50 brushes for eyeshadow when you can just use two in my case? So I'm going to dip in a sweet treat with this. I'm going to see how it goes. I might need to switch to a packing brush for this, but we'll see. Hmm. Okay, it is kind of very muted, but it is like a very sheer shimmer. There we go. The more I'm packing, the more things are happening. I'm trying to leave space because I still need to fit in blue, purple. Blue, purple, violet? They're the same thing? I don't know. I don't. I realised when I came to film this video, I don't know the colours of the rainbow that well. It's been a hot minute since I sat down and remembered the colours of the rainbow. So let's just move on to the other eye. There we are. So we've got our green. I actually kind of like that. It does look more blue on camera, but I actually really like that. Um, I think I will just blend out the top camera. Can you stop with the weird like colour thing that you're doing? I would appreciate that. I desperately need a new camera because the focus and the colour balance on this one, I've tried to alter the colour balance and it just won't have it and the focus is so slow. So. I'm going to keep this palette out for the blue, but I am going to try and find a different palette that has the blue because as I said, I want to try and use all my palettes because why not? We, we doing it. 
What is in this one? I doubt there's going to be any in this one. Ooh, actually, this palette might have a contender. It's quite dark though, but at least it's a matte blue. Just a little bit of blue. That's all I want. Chocolate bar. You don't have it blue. So sad. You don't really have a blue. So sad. And you're not going to have a blue. That's so sad. Does this have a blue? Not really, that's so sad. Okay, let me see how this blue looks when it is such a swatch. It is the shade Gala. I <laughs> I've started this voice and I don't know how to stop. I regret all decisions. Uh, so I'm going to try the shade Gala because it is kind of dark. Ooh, actually. That might be just alright because the other blue I've got is in this one again and it is Nom Nom which I think is going to look too close to the green maybe? Like if I hold that up, yeah. I think I'm going to go with the shade Gala. I never learn. I always like swatch stuff everywhere and then I forget to bring what they call makeup wipes with me. So I'm going to take the Revolution Pro New Neutral Blushed Palette. I used this back in February was the last time I used this for a Valentine's Day look and it is honestly, it is such a gorgeous palette and I forgot there was like just a random blue in here so I am going to take that shade Gala again on my BH Cosmetics brush and just put it next to that green. Trying to leave space for the last colours but I think, ooh, oh, I may have put a bit too much up there. Let's just get rid of that for a minute before I blend it out. Uh, yeah, we need to save space for like our purple and violet colours. But I think I'm only going to be able to put like one variant on, if that makes any sense. That blue is quite, it has, it doesn't look like it on camera, but it has gone on quite well onto the lid. I'm just blending it out from like my like crease slash brow bone area a bit just to like tone it down a bit. I don't think it has, I thought it left a bit of fallout then, but I don't actually think it has. So I think we're all good. Ooh, I'm actually kind of liking this so far. I was a bit scared. Yeah, so it's blue, indigo and violet. And to me, indigo and violet, same they're not but in my eyes they're the same and I'm running out of lid space so I'm going to try and find a indigo violet shade oh wow I turned around for a second and forgot what colors I had on my eyes but um these are kind of the colors I come up with I think the closest we're gonna get without dipping into another palette is this one which is from the Naked Cherry palette and it is the colour and it is the colour here, uh, Bing. I did say that right, Bing, yep. I have to make sure I was putting it on, which is this one, which is this like middle one here. So I'm just gonna take the brush that came with this palette. I do love this palette, I haven't worn it for so long though, and I'm just gonna like Maybe not use this end, maybe I'm going to use the small end because we're getting into like my inner corner now. And just kind of press that in. It is a not the shade we wanted, but it's the best that I could do with the tools that I had available to me. So we have that kind of like in the inner corner and I'm just gonna take this obnoxious brush and just again just like pat it down. Actually let's let's downgrade to the BH3 that we were using and just blend that a little bit out. Oh yeah. Okay, so I broke technically my only rule and I went back in to the Sof palette and I just took this shade down here, Strawberry Sweets, and ran that underneath 
uh, this lash line. So I think I'm just going to do a white eyeliner. I think that's going to look better than black. Uh, so I'll go and do that off screen, do my mascara, and then I think we are finished. I've done the white eyeliner. I also just added in a, a little bit of highlight to my inner corner. When I say a little, I mean a lot. I used um, the Revolution strobe highlighter is just revolution yeah it's just revolution strobe highlighter in flash as i said when i dug it out of my bag love this highlighter to bits so i was like let's just add it everywhere so i'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara i'm going to take the aldi uh la Cura larger than life mascara because i do actually genuinely really like this mascara although it does come out really like goopy so here is the finished look uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to do these and not look at my camera at the same time But it's pretty simple. I think I used most of my eyeshadow palettes Let me just like count and see how many I actually used so I actually ended up using Seven out of 19 eyeshadow palettes, which isn't bad Sad I couldn't use them all but maybe one day but I just thought it'd be a fun little idea just to kind of try it, see how many it actually took me to do this. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. If you like this video, please donate your hands to the like button. Leave some comments down below. Are you guys doing anything for Pride? I'm not because I'm working. Hence why I did this. Um, have you got any makeup ideas you'd like me to try out? Any, you know, like weird makeup hacks maybe? Leave some of those in the comments and I'll compile a little list to try at some point. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell to be reminded of when I post a new video. Again, thank you all so much for watching, for sticking around. I hope you have a nice Pride Month, all my little gabies out there. And I will see you next time. Bye.